Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenogears. All right, the uh, this part screwed up on me right after the uh, um, uh, the other part in the last episode, so I just cut it off and I'm redoing it now. So let's get back to it. When Faye and the others arrived at the deepest part of Mahanan, I was looking after the newly mutating people in Nisen. People mutating, one after the other. Like some eternal nightmare that made me wonder just how long we would have to keep on nursing them. Are you okay? You haven't had any rest, have you? I can handle things on my own for a while. Why don't you go out for a walk? Thank you, but I'll be alright. I'd rather keep busy so that I won't worry about things too much. Is that it? Hey! Ellie, what's that? This? Can I see it? Just as I thought. It's the Pendant of Nysen. Why do you have it, Ellie? It's Faze. I'm holding on to it for him. But it feels as if I have always worn it. Hmm. When you wear that, you look even more like Sophia. Really? Hmm. Flattery won't get you anything, you know. Anyway, we need to hurry up and test the new mutation suppressant assembler on those, on those other people there. We can't afford to have them change any further. Ah! Looks like a chain broke. Oh no! Something has happened to Faye and the others! Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions a little bit, Ellie? Overcome by indescribable fear, I decided to ascend to Shivat, which was stationed in the skies above Nysen. Awaiting me there was a transmission from Krellian. He told me that if I wanted to save Faye and the others, I would have to come to Golgoda. Krellian wanted me. In order to save Faye and my fr other friends, I departed in the last Omnigear left remaining in Shivat. My previous fear of riding in this machine was surmounted by my desire to rescue the people dear to me. Ooh, pretty spiffy looking gear. Are you serious about going it alone? Krillian told me to come by myself. I can't afford to break the agreement, so please stay behind and protect everyone here. But it's a trap. Who are you, Admiral Akbar? There's a trap. I know. Then why? If I do not go, Faye and, Faye and them will be executed for sure. Krillian isn't concerned with anyone else but me. So what makes you think he's going to hold his part of the bargain? Do you have any way of knowing that you will definitely save your friends by doing this? No. Then it's suicide. It might be. But I've made it this far because of Faye and the others. Because they accepted me as their friend. If you go away, what about us? What about all the people who have assembled in Nysen that you leave behind? Everyone's depending on you for their spiritual support. The people in Nysen will be fine. They can stand on their own feet without any support from me. This is also true of you all, right? But why do you do so much for him? I don't know. I guess it's a woman pr woman's prerogative to be selfish, perhaps. A woman's prerogative? I'm not a holy woman of any sort. I'm just a regular woman. I get angry, I cry, I laugh. Although at times I can resent others. I, have also, I also know how to love others. Loving whole masses of people at times, and loving just one person the rest of the time. I'm in supreme bliss when I'm embraced by the man that I love. Giving what I have to him, and receiving what he gives to me, 
we become one flesh. That is the moment when I am most at peace. It is my prerogative as a woman to simply want to save that, save the man that I love. Boss. I'm sorry for saying such selfish things. I'll go and do all that I can for my friends. So I want you all to do whatever it is you can for our friends here. Well, I'd better get going now. Wow, those are a pair of funky looking uh, gears. And that one on the left looks awfully familiar. And really, crucifying gears. That that seems kind of ridiculous. Even Choo Choo! You bastards. Poor Choo Choo. Although I don't see Anvari up there. Or Crescens for that matter. Seriously, though. Crucifying gears. Um... Sure, it's kind of an evocative image, but... What about the pilots? <laughs> they could just jump out. Heck, Siebzen is there. Maria could just climb down. <laughs> well, at least Ellie gets an upgraded gear now. She can totally kick butt. It's an Omni gear, after all. Come on, Ellie, you can kick their butt. Kick their butts. Use your air rods. Ellie? You idiot! Why did you come here? Krillian's after you! Forget about us! Run and save yourself! I came as I was told. I'm the only one you need. They have nothing to do with this, so let Faye and the others go. How gallant you are, Elhane. It's as if that scene from the past has been brought back to life in the present. What are you talking about? So you came in, came in an Omnigear. That too is her gear. Oh, you must be talking about Sophia. Hmm. Allow me to confirm something. Uh-oh. I'll consider what kind of treatment your friends will receive, on one condition. That you first defeat these two men here with that gear you came in. How about it, Elhaim? Forget it, Ellie! He's up to something! Don't accept it! Faye is right. Krellian is not a man of his word. And he is always... He always has ulterior motives when he sweet-talks someone. What is more, these men are fighting machines created by Krellian. Their combat skills are immeasurable. They are not opponents you can defeat, you can handle by yourself. Aw, oh, come on. Give her some credit, Seton. Do not take him up on his offer. Escape while you can. My, my. Such harsh, such harsh criticism. I am not that brutal. So what will it be, Elaheim? Even if you were, even if you were to try to flee now, it is not likely you would be able to. You see, I have this whole area surrounded by my guards. Wouldn't it be logical to take the choice where you st may still stand a chance, no matter how slight it may be? Don't do it, Ellie. All right then, I'll do what you say. Good. You are indeed my precious little bird. Now get on with it. Alright, combat time. Yeah, let's kick these, uh, two gears butts. Ooh, pretty spiffy looking gear, too. And, wait, why isn't this a normal battle scene? If it gives Faye and them the slightest chance of escape, then I will fight. I don't care if it even costs me my life. They're too fast! Ooh! I guess this is a story battle, huh? Oh, come on, Ellie. You can... Oh, ow. That... That's gonna hurt. 
outmatched even in my Omni Gear. But I can't just... No, not like this. I can't lose. Yeah, come on. I love that gear. I, I think you need a little... Do a little bit more than that, Ellie. It must somehow stop movement. Yeah, that's better. Excellent! One down. Stopped? Now's my chance. Ha! Alright, ether attack. Excellent. Took them both out. Did I do it? I'm sure you did. Oh. Uh, maybe not. How, how could that... I thought it had some sort of effect. Girl, that hurt. I'll get you back. It was wrong of you to underestimate our power. Ooh, ow. Ooh. Oh, come on. Hitting the girl? Seriously, guys? What kind of attack was that? I'm gonna skitter on the ground. Oh, come on, Ellie. Air rod them to death. Where are your air rod? Oh. Oh, this is bad. Gah. Yeah, come on, get back up. <sighs> I'm getting no results. It can't be helped, Mugwort. It's about time to finish the job. Come on, stop beating on the girl. That's terrible. You've clearly lost you, your humanity in there. But see, she has air rods on the ends of her uh, skirt armor. Yeah, <laughs> downed yet? It's to be expected. Multiple fractures, major blood loss. I wouldn't be surprised if the cockpit is a sea of blood. At worst, death. <laughs> oh no, she's not down yet. Oh, look at that face. What the? There's no way you could stand after taking that much damage. Hey, don't underestimate it. Ooh, way to go, Ellie. M Mugwort! Why, you? How dare you do that to my partner? Yeah, come on, Ellie. Kick his butt. Ooh. Yeah, ether attacks now. Firing the main cannon. Multiple times. Oh. Yay, took him out. All right, Ellie, go ahead and use that on the, uh... uh oh. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not so good. I think she's in bad shape. Come on, Faye. Release system it or something. No way, Ellie! Her true awakening? Or just merely protecting her master? Either way, it does not alter the fact that she is the mother existence that I've been searching for. Now then, recover that machine. Place priority on the safety of the pilot. Use whatever it takes to preserve her life. Well, crap. I guess we're not going to be using her uh, in the next couple battles. Yeah, um, 
Probably a good idea to unequip her uh, before fighting Hammer. That's why I did not use her for Hammer, because you do not get an opportunity to unequip her afterwards. I lost some good items that way. Well, then I shall be taking this girl with me. As for the rest of you, why don't you just wallow there pathetically while you meditate on your own lack of any real power? Pitiful. You can't even protect a single woman. It is not even worth the effort of putting a spineless wretch like you out of your misery. I'll be coming for you next, Groff. Ellie was taken away, and as Krellian had told her, we were left alive. Was Krellian just keeping his promise? No, that can't be it. There had to be another real reason why he allowed us to live. And we had to find that out. Save current data? Indeed. Taking a while, game. Taking a while. Yeah, I'm actually redoing the sequence. Uh, it it desynced pretty horribly. Continue the game. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We don't need to do anything right now. The fleshly body of God has been recovered. The anima and the animus have all been obtained. All that is left for us to do is change into the animus and become one with the mother persona. That is incorrect. What? What do you mean, Krellian? What did you just say? What are you doing? Krellian, have you gone totally insane? What is that coming out of the sphere there? What are you doing to the memory banks? I think he's overdrawing on the memory banks. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do not touch them. We cannot survive without them. You were the only ones who could have activated the key. But now that it has been activated, I no longer need you. I am having you all erased. How dare you! Oh, come on, balls. Smack him in the face. Come on. Smack him in the face. The only obstacle that kept me from my goals was Cain. He was the one person who had total control of the people and thus was my greatest nemesis. But the only person who could terminate Cain was Cain himself. That's why I created a copy of Cain. Ramses acted exactly as I predicted, killing Cain. Now there is no one who can stop me, and I'm not interested in your power or authority. Did you really think that you were acting on your own free will? You are all just parts of the system, created only as weapons of invasion and oppression. You are just terminal interface weapons. We can become God, and you're... God? Who said you to be God? What impertinence. We are humans. We were created to be terminal interfaces of God. It is the same for you, who were once humans. Man cannot become God. We can only entrust ourselves to God. Ridiculous! Going against the mother! I have not gone against her. I have not gone against her. This is the will of the other mother. You think you can eliminate us and still revive God? It can be done. Your genes were scattered in order to keep the world alive after the fall and days of destruction. Those genes live on today within the humans, the anima vessels, and the recipients of their alignment, the animus, and also the persona. By combining these with my nano machines, humans will become the living will become living beings very much equivalent of you. Actually, they may far, far surpass you in becoming worthy terminal interfaces for God. So you are no longer any use to me. Deus, the physical manifestation of God, only wants results. 
the means are insignificant to him. So this is my ARC plan. My Project Noah. Grelly! May all your worries cease. Rest in peace, ancestors of mortal man. Well, I guess that's the end for the Gazel Ministry. Now, it is just you and I, Sophia. You seem obsessed with the past, buddy. Not to mention some other things. I love that portrait of Ellie. I was powerless. All I could do was stand by and watch as they took Ellie away from me. I am powerless. What are you doing there? Oh, it's you. I wasn't able to beat Groff. I didn't stand a chance against him. It was obvious from the start. It was impossible to try to defeat a monster machine like that to begin with. And Ellie... Why was she so damn foolish? I implicitly told her not to come. Don't you mean explicitly? I told her to run away. She had to have known it was a trap. You won't be able to defeat him like that. As long as you continue fighting with that kind of an attitude, that is. Huh? The reason you lost and that young lady was taken was because of your pride. Weren't you depending far too much on the power of your machine? Not to mention that new id power you're now able to control? What is Graf's source of power? His machine? His technique? His experience? I do not think so. It is his feelings. His heart, his feelings, are dominated by his resentment and his hatred of this world. That hatred is his source of power. Your feelings weren't focused enough to fight off Groff. That is why you could not win. Your feelings must be in the right place. That is strength. I'm not surprised you lost, seeing as you do not understand the true meaning of strength. Wiseman. that young lady. The only thing in her heart was her desire to save you all. She set aside her fear and piloted that machine. It was because she had such strong feelings that you were you were all still alive. That is what I think. Of course you have been defeated. However, that doesn't mean it's over. How do you plan on responding to her feelings? It is now your turn to save her. Is it not? You could, you could cut us down, you know, Wiseman. Well, what are you going to do, Faye? You, 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 could, you could cut us down, Wiseman, you know, rather than just let us sit here. I... Uh, I'm going to... Save Ellie? In order to save Ellie, we began to search desperately for her whereabouts, and two weeks later we found her. Using the data obtained from Razael and his own nanomachine te technology, Krellian had begun the construction of God's Ark, Merkava. Its completion was imminent. To prevent its activation and to rescue Ellie, we headed for Merkava. Which I think is supposed to be Merkava? I don't know. I'm not positive. Oh, hey. Oh, are we going to have to fight you guys again? You again? Are you girls thinking of going in there too? Don't get any wrong ideas there. We are here to help our commander. Yang and Krellian have been manipulating his emotions for the sole purpose of eliminating the Emperor. We simply want to free the commander from those bonds so that he may be saved. It's neither for the sake of the world, nor for the sake of your girlfriend, Elohim. We have no intentions of fighting on the same side as you. Fine. You have your own battles to fight, and we have ours. Let's leave it at that. But, 
If things get out of hand, you head back. We'll handle it. <laughs> we'll make you eat those words. You wait and see. Well, we did kind of kick your butt a while back. It wasn't too hard. I want to keep that in mind. We entered inside a Merkava, and while fighting back units of weapons that self-regenerated through the use of nanomachines, we headed for the central core, and then, once again, Ramses appeared before us. Ah, love this part. And those, uh, two statues look kind of familiar, don't they? Kind of like the statues in the, uh, Nicene Cathedral. I wonder why they'd be in here. Oh, hey, we get to move around a bit. Uh, first things first, um, heads up over here. This is Shopkeep Johnny. Looks like this shaft somehow connects to the outside. But we don't have time to turn back. Let's hurry ahead. Yeah, let's check out his gear items. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Um, Engine-wise, no change. Frame-wise, no change, although Verge is still listed. Uh, yeah, I've already got that. Um, I have not upgraded Brigadier. Uh, yeah, so basically the same frames that were available in the uh, last Anima Dungeon, Anima Relic Dungeon. Um... Armor-wise, I am going to make some changes to that. I'm going to get 60-25 uh, uh, armor for people, for the uh, characters that I'm going to take into the next uh, battle. Uh, here is uh, Styre in its uh, Omni-Gear form. Uh, l Styre is uh, what it's technically called. Um, it got a an engine upgrade. It got a frame upgrade. It got an armor upgrade, I think, but not to the highest level, uh, which is kind of disappointing, but uh, there you have it. Um, so I do highly recommend not really using Styre much before that last dungeon, so that you can get some free upgrades out of it. It's kind of handy. Siebzen was originally, and Crescens were, were both originally meant to have uh, uh, Anima Relic forms, but uh, unfortunately they do not get that. Uh, so, let's see what he has for uh, weapons. This is basically the same thing. Uh, Parts-wise, I am going to get eight of these. I am going to get nine of these. Uh, I think I will get four more of those. So these are, I think these are the highest that you can get for these. Uh, ether armor plus three, that's ether defense value plus 200. Uh, plus 100 armor defense. Um, plus 60 armor defense, and you also get some additional bonuses. Uh, they can be handy. I think you get uh, uh, agility bonuses. I'll, I'll have to double check it. Uh, you... If you do not have enough uh, uh, frame HP 30s, you need them. Get them now. You will need them for the upcoming battle. I would not worry about any of these others, though. So let's go ahead and get those. Um, and that's basically it. I'm going to sell some stuff off camera, re equip, change my party around, and uh, we'll come back in the main room as I'm about to go into the next battle. See you then.